Garin, the might of Damasia. Born into the noble Crownguard family, along with his younger sister Lux, Garin knew from an early age that he would be expected to defend the throne of Damasia with his life. His father, Pieter, was a decorated military officer, while his aunt Tiana was sword captain of the elite Dauntless Vanguard, and both were recognized and greatly respected by King Jarvan III. It was assumed that Garin would eventually come to serve the king's son in the same manner. The kingdom of Damasia had risen from the ashes of the Rune Wars, and the centuries afterward were plagued with further conflict and strife. One of Garin's uncles, a ranger knight in the Damasian military, told young Garin and Lux his tales of venturing outside the kingdom's walls to protect its people from the dangers of the world beyond. He warned them that, one day, something would undoubtedly end this time of relative peace, whether it be rogue mages, creatures of the abyss, or some other unimaginable horror yet to come. As if to confirm those fears, their uncle was killed in the line of duty by a mage before Garin turned eleven. Garin saw the pain this brought to his family, and the fear in his young sister's eyes. He knew then for certain, that magic was the first and greatest peril that Demacia faced, and he vowed never to let it within their walls. Only by following their founding ideals and by displaying their unshakable pride could the kingdom be kept safe. At the age of twelve, Garin left the Crown Guard home in High Silvermere to join the military. As a squire, his days and nights were consumed by training, and the study of war, honing his body and mind into a weapon as strong and true as Damasian steel. It was then he first met young Jarvan IV, the prince who, as king, he would one day serve, among the other recruits, and the two became inseparable. In the years that followed, Garin earned his place in the shield wall as a warrior of Damasia, and quickly gained a fearsome reputation on the battlefield. By the time he was 18, he had served with honor in campaigns along the Freljordian borders, played a key role in purging fetid cultists from the Silent Forest, and fought alongside the valiant defenders of White Rock. King Jarvan III himself summoned Garin's battalion back to the great city of Demacia, honoring them before the royal court in the Hall of Valor. Tiana Crownguard, recently elevated to the role of High Marshal, singled out her nephew in particular, and recommended him for the trials necessary to join the ranks of the Dauntless Vanguard. Garin returned home in preparation, and was greeted warmly by Lux and his parents, as well as the common people living on his family's estate. Though he was pleased to see his sister growing into an intelligent, capable young woman, Something about her had changed. He had noticed it whenever he visited, but now Garin wrestled with a real and gnawing suspicion that Lux possessed magical powers, though he never let himself entertain the idea for long. The thought of a crown guard being capable of the same forbidden sorceries that had slain their uncle was too unbearable to confront. Naturally, through courage and skill, Garin won his place among the vanguard. With his proud family and his good friend the prince looking on, he took his oaths before the throne. Lux and her mother spent much more time in the capital, in service to the king as well as the humble order of the Illuminators. Yet Garin tried to keep his distance as much as possible. Though he loved his sister more than anything else in the world, some small part of him had a hard time getting close to her, and he tried not to think about what he would be forced to do if his suspicions were ever confirmed. Instead, he threw himself into his new duties, fighting and training twice as hard as he had before. When the new sword captain of the Dauntless Vanguard fell in battle, Garin found himself put forward for command by his fellow warriors and the nomination was unopposed. To this day, 
he stands resolute in the defense of his homeland against all foes. Far more than Damasio's most formidable soldier, he is the very embodiment of all the greatest and most noble ideals upon which it was founded.